What's up, everybody? Let's talk a little baseball. Has everybody got the baseball fever already? I mean, we're, what, two weeks in here. Some interesting things have been happening. I mean, the, not not so much for the Cardinals, right? The Cardinals only played five games because of the COVID. A lot of games canceled. They're at plus 5,000 and won the World Series. Interesting because last year they won over 90 games, went to the playoffs. I mean, at plus 5,000? I mean, that offers some, some significant value there. But there are a couple other teams and a couple other players that have kind of gotten my attention here. I'll start with the A's. I mean, the A's, they recently had a nine-game winning streak, and in seven of those games, they gave up two runs or less. Have you seen their pitching, their bullpen? I mean, really? I mean, Birch Smith, Jake Diekman, TJ McFarlane, and Joaquin Soria have combined for 32 innings without giving up an earned run. I think that's pretty special. They're hitting. Is their hitting good? Not really right now, right? I mean, they're batting, what, 214, right? Um, it'd be nice if Chris Davis, uh, he, he, he doesn't hit for a good average. He's hitting for a terrible average this year. But he did hit 48 home runs in 2018. Oakland actually hit some home runs, right? Matt Olson has five home runs. Matt Chapman is a really, really nice player. I really like him. So I'm intrigued, man. If Oakland can start hitting, uh, I'm intrigued to see what, what, what they'll do this year. But it seems like the, the days always get to the playoffs. And they, you know, whatever. They're plus 1,400 to win the, the World Series. Fourth best odds there in Major League Baseball. I think there's better value elsewhere. How about the Colorado Rockies at plus 2,500? Rockies always get off to a good start. I mean, the first month of the season is always a great month for Colorado, right? Um, but they're actually pitching. And when we think about Colorado, we don't think about pitching. We think about hitting, right? And speaking of hitting, oh, Charlie! Have you guys seen Charlie Blackman? 15-game hitting streak, hitting 500. I mean, will he get to 400? 400 batting average for the first time since 1941 when... when uh, Teddy Ball game, Ted Williams did it. Um, it's only a 60 game season, right? Speaking of 60 games, the last player to hit at least 400 in the first 60 games of the season was Chipper Jones back in 2008 when he hit 409. I don't know if Charlie Blackman's gonna do that, right? But the thing is, I wanna talk about the, the, the Rockies pitching right now, right? Because Jermaine Marcus. Uh, Kyle Freeland, Antonio Sensatella. I mean, these guys are pitching. John Gray was pitching well, and then, you know, he gave up about 80 runs in his last outing. So that kind of hurt his ERA there. But will the Rockies keep pitching? Probably not. But it is an interesting start. I mean, I got to mention, Charlie Blackman, Charlie's been absolutely fantastic. Charlie. Um, at plus 2,500 Rockies. How about the Nationals? I think they offer better value at plus 2,500. I'll tell you why, in my view, right? I mean, this is my opinion. Juan Soto has 19 at-bats. He, he's got the talent to really be a difference maker. We know this. Uh, Steven Strasburg has one start this year. We're talking about a legit Cy Young candidate. Right? I mean, when Soto hasn't really done anything, Strasburg only has one start. Uh, uh, team won the World Series last year. Max Scherzer hasn't been exactly healthy. Patrick Corbin, 20 strikeouts and three walks only. I think the best, the, the Nationals' best days are ahead of them. I know they lost, lost Anthony Rendon, right? He is now uh, an angel. But, um, yeah, man, at plus 2,500, I think it offers pretty decent value for a pretty talented team. And like I said, Soto has the talent to be the best player on this team. And Strasburg has the talent to be the best pitcher. So if they get going, I think the Nationals could also really, really get going. Um, let's hope the Cardinals get going. I mean, two and three, two weeks in, you know, what, 10 straight games or 12 straight games canceled. canceled. That is a problem. Especially for Cardinal fans. Cardinal fans want to see baseball. Let's hope they come back soon.